Agenda. Does anybody have anything they'd like to add or take away at tonight's agenda? It's approved? Okay. Um, next on the agenda, we'd like to open up to public comment of anything that's not currently on tonight's agenda. Yeah, please state your name and your address, please. Okay. My name is Emily Beggs. I'm at 1649 Seminole Road. And um, just two items I wanted to just bring to your attention for future discussion um, and, and inquiry. Uh, one being the possible need for um, sidewalk, where the, where the sidewalk is bumped up in certain areas because of root, tree roots or what have you. Um, those, those lifted areas um, are, can pose a, a trip and fall hazard. Um, so an idea of, of grinding those down, we've seen that done before um, in some parts of the city and in other cities as well, grinding those areas down just for a, as a safety issue. Um, the other item I wanted to just bring up is the request of an addition, additional um, trash receptacles with a dog waste bag, um, like the one over um, in the green triangle green space over in the sands over um, and having more of those available around the city. Um, there has been a, in, in a lot of uh, public discourse and concern, obviously on Facebook, but um, in other discussions with neighbors about the presence of dog feces, um, the waste bags being used, but then being left in yards or on sidewalks or something like that. So I think possibly an idea of increasing the trash receptacles with the, the waste bag um, attachments to them might help with that particular area and help beautify our city. That's all. Great. Thank you. Um, Emily, may I ask you a question? The, the spots where the sidewalk is heaving, mm -hmm. um, did you have any particular places that you noted the addresses? Um, I don't have them a particular. I, I just see them kind of, I walk a great deal around um, the city and I just I just see you know certain areas just randomly um, that are, are rather large. I myself have tripped on a couple of them, so um, I know there's some in our neighborhood. There's some in the main kind of the central part of the city, um, but specific locations I haven't really mapped out and, and can give you an exact address. I think if we if you notice those things, if you can note the addresses where they kind of you know where they're located. Okay. That helps Public Works um, know where to go and address them. Okay. Um, which is what 
I tell residents, send yeah. my word if you see them. Um, notify the city and Public Works will go and address it. Okay, is Public Works still doing the grinding? Uh, yes, we are. We basically have a two-pronged approach. We have um, $150,000 that we invest in both sidewalk replacements and uh, grinding or cutting sidewalks, and we have targeted areas. Okay. Um, so we're, we're on a, it's, it's kind of a clock, uh, clockwise cycle. Um, this, net, this spring will be kind of in the, uh, will still be in the south uh, western quadrant of the city in that okay. target area. However, if um, there are any hazards that are reported to us uh, outside of that, we'll send out our crews independently okay. to Okay, we can do that. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. I think didn't we discuss in the community foundation some additional receptacles with some of the um, foundations looking into at least around the lake? I don't recall if there were trash receptacles. Um, or dog bag stations. I, mean, I don't recall off the top of my head, but yeah. I think I think that's on the. I think we discussed it at least at one time. Like possibly looking into that. So yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so next is a report of mayor and city commissioners. So I'll start with you, John. Uh, I'd just like to thank Public Works again for uh, another good job dealing with the recent um, snow. I guess recent now, almost a week ago. But um, I was very impressed. Everything was cleaned up. See, so within 24 hours, everything, everything stopped. But um, that's the only report I have. Yep, I just say an early thank you in advance to everyone who applied uh, for the Ward 1 vacancy. Uh, we received a number of applications, um, looked to be excellent, a uh, number of people who are very well qualified. I think it's actually going to make for a tough decision for us as we go through the process, but, um, and I know uh, we have a plan to, to work through those applications and come back before the commission with our recommended finalists, uh, but I just wanted to initially acknowledge and thank uh, everyone who took the time and showed the interest in uh, serving the commission. I was pleasantly surprised by that. We had seven applicants, which I did not expect, and so that's a really good thing. Um, and they are all very well qualified, so it won't be an easy decision. Um, but I guess the next step in this process is to have it go to committee so we can narrow it down to uh, no more than three people. And then uh, from there, we can bring it to the full body and decision and have interviews and things like that so I'm excited I think this will be great. great. Uh, I wanted to remind folks that we are in the midst of our tree pickup season uh, through the end of next week the 17th is the last day um, and express some appreciation to Public Works for extending the leaf pickup for that. Uh, I, I personally appreciated that a lot I had two buckets full of leaves that got picked up this morning on the first first route so it was good to get them out in the backyard and not uh, just composting everything with the snow. You, in case anybody is watching or otherwise, Doug, Doug, can can you briefly remind people kind of what the what the rules are for that? Because it's a little different than our normal pickup. Yeah, we, we were requesting that uh, the residents place out the, the uh, recycled paper bags or use their 32 gallon containers. Um, oftentimes, it's a I understand it's a uh, it's a desire when we get some nice warm days where, where we had uh, I think 60 degrees or right around there, but. We're looking at our operations to pick it up the next week when we know we're gonna have snow. Um, it's not helpful during the street because we're plowing. So if people put out their, their bags or containers um, along with their trees in the right of way, that makes it a lot easier for us to then pick those up. Um, yeah, I want to also thank Public Works for that extended leaf pickup. I think that's just a real nice, convenient thing. So thank you so much for that. And uh, also thanks to Public Works and to you, Doug, we're um, starting the pilot program with the traffic signal um, across from the high school, and I know that's active today. And um, so thanks so much for looking into that and for implementing that, that's exciting. And um, please, if anybody has any comments or thoughts about that signal, um, please let us know, let the city know. And because um, we'd love to hear your feedback. It is a pilot program for- uh, 12 months. 12 months, so any feedback is much appreciated. So thank you. And also thank you to those who applied. Um, it's seven um, very qualified individuals are, uh, want to be part of um, the city and um, I don't envy your position on that committee of narrowing <laughs> that down but thank you so much um, okay. anything else okay so on to um, our regular agenda item discussion of January 20 2020 City Commission meeting date uh, that's actually Martin Luther King Day and uh, yes, 
uh, I'll uh, move to uh, move to move the January 20th, 2020 meeting date to the following day, Tuesday, January 21st. Um, the only thing I would add, um, I mean, I, I think, I think first of all, I think it's it's appropriate from uh, just a recognition of, of the date and the significance of the holiday, not for us to to not meet that day. I know a number of people uh, take place, take part of different events uh, to commemorate that day. Uh, on top of that, I know that the schools are out again this year on that day. That will that may or may not always be the the, the case, but on days when the school is out, uh, sometimes people are out of town and what have you, and so it's probably all the more reason to move it. Um, I think we talked a little bit even at, at Finance Committee briefly about just building that into our regular routine so that when we schedule next year's dates, we can just have that as a base schedule and don't have to have a motion to, uh, to change it. Yeah, I just, I uh, concur with Commissioner Walters that I think it's very appropriate given the um, activities that folks may do during that You know, I, I think that that's good, and I, I like the um, move to put it actually on the yearly calendar so we don't have to have a specific meeting dedicated to that, so that's great. So, any other comments? Well, along the same lines, maybe this might be um, an opportunity to mention the midwinter break date, um, just to find out, just to gauge who will actually be present. Those dates that's um, Monday, the 17th of February. We have a, a meeting scheduled, but it's midwinter break. Right. So um, I don't know if there's anyone that would be missing that. Of course, we're, we have one of our commissioners is out sick today, so um, she can't really weigh in on that. But. Right. Yeah, we may also have a new commissioner by then, hopefully, too, that we would want to coordinate with that. So mm -hmm. um, maybe we can do that separate from, from this discussion. But okay. I mean, I think it's important. We need to make sure that we have a appropriately for that date. So we can send out a communication on that. Okay. okay. So on the current date move, um, can we, uh, does anybody have any further comments? No. Okay. So all those in favor of moving the January 20th commission meeting date to January 21st, um, say yes. 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 Opposed, say no. Okay. Motion carries. Um, the next item on the list is the consent agenda. May I give a motion? Motion to approve the consent agenda as written. Second. Second. Does anybody have any comments or anything? The consent agenda? No? Okay. Um, so, motion to approve. Can I get a vote? All those in favor say yes. 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 All those opposed say no. Okay, so now the meeting is over. We are currently going into an executive session and we will not be coming out, um, just to let you know. So there's nothing to vote on that we're discussing tonight. So um, the formal part of the meeting is over. May I get a motion to go into executive session? Uh, move to go into executive session to discuss personal matters, collective bargaining agreements, and the acquisition of real estate. Any second? Second. Sorry goes to a roll call vote? Yes. Um, Commissioner Walters? Yes. Commissioner Packlow? Yes. Commissioner Hamrick? Yes. Commissioner Arantors? Yes. Mayor Pavlov? Yes.